<laughs> Alright guys, girls, check it out. Welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? Alright guys, here we go. We're ready to get down to the nitty gritty. You see I got up on the concrete, right? We got that 2003 Jeep Liberty Sport with the 3.7. Finally, we can get ready to pull this engine out. We have a super busy week, so we're going to try to get as much done. We, what I would like to do is get up under there. We're going to jack it up, put it up on jack stands, and try to disconnect everything from underneath first. Then we're going to lower it down and hopefully get this engine out soon so we can check out what the heck is going on on inside of here and if you don't know what's going on be sure to check back on parts two and one and hear this engine run okay let's get to it I'm gonna jack this engine jack this car up put it up on jack stands let me go some tall ones so we can get up under there and have a lot of room let me get a blanket up under there too check that out because i want to be nice and comfortable we're gonna do what we gotta do be right back Alright guys, we got our jack, hydraulic jack holding up the vehicle and we got our two high, uh, jack stands in place just in case. They ain't no just in case, you're going to need them there. <laughs> Alright, let's get up under there, get a little flashlight so we can see how we're going to do this. Now, while we up under here, man, this, this looks like it's going to suck. <laughs> Alright, we got our cats right there. You know, there's just like there's enough clearance right there and I can probably just unbolt them from here, leave the cat up. But uh maybe that one. That one is twisted out. That ain't gonna clear that frame right there. So uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna remove that cat. Get that cat out of there. Alright, let's see as far as bell housing bolts. <laughs> oh shoot! Oh man, okay. Uh, there's one right there. Uh, there's one, but it's bolted up the opposite way. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, the ones on the top, I am not going to be able to get out from this angle. I probably have to get them from the top. Now, according to the manual, uh, you're supposed to take off the intake. So I, I, I think that's why. And I bet you if I take off that intake, I can get to those bolts. We're going to take that, take a look at that. All right. We gotta remove the starter to get to the. Dang it, yeah, we gotta remove the starter. The starter's right there. Uh, those starters are a pain. So, what I'm gonna do here, we gotta take, we're gonna take out this front drive shaft right here. So, we have clearance. Now, according to the manual, you just gotta unbolt it and bring it to the side. I'm getting it out of here. We did a starter on this vehicle a while before, and uh, I think it was easier for me just to take the thing out. All right, once we get that and that and those, at least under here, we'll go up there and disconnect those. Yeah, there's one plug right there. Get to disconnect the front O2 sensors. And uh, that'll be good to go, man. This, okay, there's one bolt right there. And there's two. Oh, that's cool. That's sweet right there, man. I got that. No problem. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, let's get some WD-40, we're going to spray these, well this, yeah, spray these exhaust bolts right here, should all come out, then we're going to get set up and get ready to pull this shaft out of here so we can get down to the nitty gritty, alright, be right back. Alright guys, let's get right to it, first thing we're going to do, get our WD-40, and what I'm going to do is, uh, spray these bolts right here. And I want to make sure to be careful over here. Okay. We'll let that sit for a while. In the meanwhile, while that's sit, let's get this drive shaft out of here. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a little trick here. What I'm going to do is got me a big pair of uh, vice grips. And what I'm going to do is crimp on the drive shaft right here. Okay. So that way it's turning. And we got six eight millimeter bolts. So I got me an eight millimeter three eighths drive deep with a three eighths drive ratchet. And what I'm going to do here is go around. And as you can see, because of the vice grip right here, this vice grip will stop it from turning. Matter of fact, what I should do is get it more over to here up against the transmission. There we go. 
Now let's rest it up against the transmission. Now I should be able to get, get over here and loosen up these bolts. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm gonna follow the drive shaft back and we're gonna get the three back here. gonna have to hold this but let's loosen up these three and then what we're gonna do is take those six out all right then we're gonna spin the drive shaft okay bear right back all right guys we're good to go what I did was turn it around and loosened up all six on both sides the next thing I want to do is grab me an eight inch uh, 3 8 drive extension and I got me a reducer 3 8 to one quarter and I got my quarter inch drive eight millimeter swivel socket on the end and Paul, I got my cordless gun. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is make so I got the extension, so I don't have to change nothing. I'm gonna go around here. Yeah, that make nice, easy work of it. Let's get another one. All right, let's get another one. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna then I'm gonna turn it and I go to this side. Go. All right, there's the bolts right there. Let's get one. Yo, this is a difficult one hand, man. Dang it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the gist of it, right? I know that thing. Take a moment. All right, so let's take out six bolts on both sides and get this shaft out of here. Bear right back. All right, guys, I got all the bolts out except for these last two right here. I'm taking them out right now, and they got little brackets on them or something. Hey, why don't I just pull? Give me a hard time coming out of here. There we go. Okay. All right, and what I did was kept them separated just in case one is longer than the other. Okay, got them all right there. Now, this shaft has a part right here which actually can you can uh, push in and take it out. So what I'm gonna do is grab this end over here. Push that back like that. As you can see it's starting to come apart. Now with two hands you're gonna do this a lot better than what I'm doing. It. Let me hold on guys. Let me let me set you down for a minute so I can manhandle this thing. Huh, looks like manhandling. It ain't gonna work. Alright, let me get a pry bar screwdriver. Bear right back. Alright guys, got me a screwdriver here. Packed it up. Give me a screwdriver. Let me set you down for that thing. Come down and break this camera, then I'll be in trouble. All right. All right. Let's get our shaft out of here. All right. And there's the back half, and there's the front half. Now I'm paying attention that the front half protrudes more so we know that goes in the front so let's get our bolts in there oh man look at that that started right there man that's great let's get our bolts back into the axle on both sides and you know what we're gonna do we're gonna start setting up our party line because I got a feeling it's gonna be a long one <laughs> all right bear back all right guys let's get up here for the next step we're gonna take out that starter but before we do that let's disconnect the negative terminal on the battery let's get a is this a 10 or 8? Dang it, man. It? Let's see here. Okay, 10 millimeter. I'm loosen that up. We're going to take that off and swing that to the side. Another good tip. A lot of times these hood pistons go bad. You can see I got a pair of vice grips on this side. Now usually you would mess up the, pit, mess up the rod 
because it's going in there, it's going into that seal, but it's messed up anyway, so use it. Do not use a stick, and that's actually, we might be just pulling this hood off, but do not use a stick because you can't hit the stick and it come down and mess you up bad. <laughs> All right, so let's get this uh, negative terminal off. Oh, that's corroded. I'm gonna fix, clean that up. Put that to the side. Man, this is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, yeah. I can see. I can. Yeah, I can. Don't mean take both them. I mean those two uh top uh, bell housing bolts. Can get them out. We remove, remove that intake. It must not be that bad to remove the intake for them to tell us to remove the intake. I don't know. It'd be easier for me to pull it out. I don't know. Whatever. Let's try it. Let's. We're gonna do that. All right. Let's get up under there. Let's get back up under here. Ah. Okay. All right, there's our starter, and what we have is two 15 millimeter bolts. One and two. And I guess this is cool if you're doing the starter right now. So what I'm doing is gonna do, let's see here, get my 15 millimeter shallow with my 3H drive air ratchet. Let me see if I can set this up. Get that thing out of my way, man. All right, get my air ratchet here, and I'm using a 15 millimeter shallow. Get up there, take them bolts out. Dang it, that sucks. You guys, something sucks because I just saw two drops of uh, something <laughs> drop down. I hope it was just, maybe it was just dirt or something, I don't know. Let's get those bolts out of there. And that is one tight spot. You know what, I can't get this, being that this starter's out of the way, I can reach that top bolt to unloose that clamp and take that exhaust, take this catalytic converter out of here. All right, where's the wires to this starter? Oh my goodness, man. How the heck did I get wires on it? Dang it, the wires on the opposite side? What the heck? Oh, okay, we got the heat shield up here. And we got a bolt on it. What size is this bolt? Look at it. Eight or ten millimeter. All right. Let's get that shield off of there so we can get to those. Get to that bolt. Maybe it's an eight. This is bogus. No, it's not. You know, you gotta kidding me, man. What the heck? Is that just up there or what? inside the thing. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Gotta get that bolt out of there. Alright guys, what I did, get me a... Let's see if I can set you up here. And what I got here is a 10 millimeter deep. Unbolted. Get this 
shield out of our way. It's very important to put this shield back in there because this shield is protecting your starter. You don't put that back, I guarantee you, you're going to be replacing this starter within a year's time. Very important. Get that shield back in place. All right, we got the shield back in, out of there. And uh, we're going to reach up there. Let's see if I can get a good look for you so you can see. Let's go over this side now. Right there, we got two. Uh, we got a plug and a bolt. Moving on to the starter. So you can actually reach up there and unplug it with one, with, uh, not one hand though, you want to need both hands. Then we're going to see what size that bolt is holding it in. This is a sucky, this, this is a real crummy, um, let me set you down. This is a real crummy design. Alright, let's get up in there and uh, unplug it. Okay, I just unplugged it. But now we got the one bolt in the back that I'm gonna try to see if I can get you a good look at this you can see up there I unplugged it but now we got the one nut holding on back of there and it looks like a 13 let's try I'm gonna try a 13 millimeter deep quarter inch drive socket and I just took my gloves off cuz I can't get up it better be a 13 get my hands up in here and get caught this is bogus, man. Yeah, it's a 13. So I'm using my, I'm going to use my 13 millimeter deep quarter inch drive. And my quarter inch drive ratchet. Let's see here. Make sure you can see this. I'm taking off both my gloves. I got to get some latex gloves up in here. Man, let's see. Let's see that. All right. Let's go up there. Again. Get my fingers up in there. I mean, you gotta, you gotta be a contortionist to get this stuff out of here. I know you guys that forget that, man. I'll take my starter to you. Let you do it. No, you, no, you won't. You a lie. All right. Oh man, okay. I loosened it up. Now to get that out. So I'm gonna loosen that up, take the bolt nut off, take the wire off, but I'm not gonna take this out. I'm gonna show you how I'm taking it out. I'm gonna take it out, okay? Right back. Alright guys, took the took the wire off of there. I'm trying to turn this so the nose will come straight out down this way. Slip up, man. If I miss, this thing's coming down like a missile. The front of it already looks like a missile. Give this with one hand so you guys can know. You know what? Hey, what am I doing? There we go. All right. Nice. Now I can work with it. You can pay attention to how I'm twisting this. I'm gonna bring this starter down. This has got to be the most suckiest. This is the suckiest of the suckiest. Alright guys, glad this thing sucked. Now, I got this starter in. Pay, take notice to the position that I got this starter in right now. Because this is how this thing is coming out of here. Ah. Uh, Alright. 
It's gonna come up from the behind, from the back through there just like that. And out. That was a puzzle. That was a puzzle. Dang it. Now, we got we look at that. We can see the clamp up there to this uh catalytic converter. I should just take that out. It'd be a lot easier, man. Just get this cat right out of here. Huh. Get us a speed wrench on this bolt right here. Loosen that clamp up. We got the room up there. Why don't we do that? But uh first, let's reach over here. And let's unplug this O2 sensor. It looks like it got a little squeeze tab. Yeah, squeeze the tab on the outside. Let's see here. Man, this thing, man, these, these cars, man, these things really, yeah, I can take it off this clip, got it, pop it off this clip, but it's still hard to get to, can you see that? Alright, if I turn to the side, you're going to see it, you just got to squeeze a little end, but it's going to be better if I show you once I get it out of there. Right there, squeeze that tab in. So I reached up there, squeezed that in, and unplugged it. So that's one down. You know, while we're up under here, let's go over here. Get all the stuff out of the way. Let's go up on this side. Locate this one, which is right there. And I'm reaching my hand up through here. I'm reaching my hand between the exhaust right here. And I'm going to go up there. And I'm going to unplug that one. Got it. Oops, I've got to clean off this camera so this thing can focus. There we go. Alright, so I got both of them loose. We already uh, sprayed some WD 40 on those. Let's go back on this side. Now let's get our socket and all. And we're gonna start taking out these bolts. All right, and I'm gonna clean off this lens. All right, bear back. All right, guys, clean off the lens the best I could. I know you're like, dang it, man, what the hell? Okay, I can't see nothing. <laughs> All right, now let's get these bolts out of here, man. I want to. I need to get this done. I just sprayed them a little bit more, uh, 14 millimeters. And what I'm gonna use is my 14 millimeter. Oops. Yeah, there's no such socket as that. <laughs> 14 millimeter deep impact, my little wobble on it. Hook it onto my uh, half inch drive gun. And let's see if I can uh, set you down again. So you can see me taking these out. This is what I love about living down here because the cars, the bolts aren't that rusty. So it makes our job a lot easier. So let's get it in. I'm gonna go slow just just in case though. <laughs> what the deuce? Is there a nut on the end of this <coughs> son of a <coughs> man? Okay, 14, <coughs> 13, got a 13 millimeter nut on the other side. Where's my ratchet at? Let me go get my ratchet. Be right back. All right, guys, let's get this set back up. All right, we do got nuts on the each end. It sucks. All right, now what I got me here, because there's a lot of rust on it, I got me a half inch. Half inch is the same. Well, just about the same as a 13 millimeter half inch, just a tad bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is put it on the other end of here. Yeah, that feels a lot better. Get my ratchet. Okay. I'm going to hold that in place. And 
Let's take this off. Thank you. That's a lot better. There we go. All right, let's put this bolt in there. Here we go. I think I'm gonna get to put a new nut up there too. Oh, I'm gonna see how much new bolts cost. All right, now let's go to our top one. Now the reason why I had to put it on first because the stud sticks out, so I had to put the socket on first because it won't go. The socket won't go up there with the ratchet on it because of the stud. Then I'm gonna put my ratchet up there, and my O2 is in the way. You gotta be kidding me, man! This is bogus. Guys, this is bogus as anything, man. And that thing, you can't even get no wrench in there. All right, let's let's try something else. How about quarter inch drive? With the quarter inch drive fitting there, I mean it ain't. It's gotta hold it in place just a little bit. Nope. That's fine. Fine. I'll take the O2 out. Dang it. <laughs> you win. All right. Let's go get us an. O2 sensor socket so we can get that O2 get that O2 out of there. Bear right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Make sure you can still see up here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Alright, the socket I'm gonna be using is this O2 socket. So because what I can do here Put it on there. Get my 12 inch extension. And try to get my 3 8 drive. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna use my swivel ratchet so I can get enough leverage on this. not break it loose of course hold on so actually no no wait a minute I gotta actually loosen I gotta tighten my ratchet to get that because I'm going opposite way why should I make that thing tight there we go all right let's twist this a little bit so we can get another look at it Again, this is the socket that I'm using. All right, there's our O2 sensor. Now, let's get our ratchet up there and and all that good stuff and try to get this out of here. All right, let's see, here's our ratchet. Put the socket up there. Get the ratchet in place, there we go. Let's get our gun. A 14 millimeter. Where the heck did the boat? Where the heck did the boat go? Dang it. It's around here somewhere. Okay, there it is. Right there. Uh, as soon as I can find the boat to it. Oh, here it is. Right here. So that's great. Both of them came off with no problem. We're good to go on that. All right. The next thing we're going to do is grab you a 10 millimeter um, <clears throat> a speed wrench. Because you're going to need it for this next step. Because what we're going to do, we're going to take this cat out of here. And now that I got the room up here to do this, 
Let's get us a flash. Let's get us a light here. All right. There's the clamp right there. These are I like these clamps. These clamps ain't that bad at all. So hey, that that valve cover is leaking, huh? Dang it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is reach up here with the with the speed wrench. Let me put it put it up there for you first. Cause this thing is oh man, come on. Right. You know what? You guys are used to sitting down here. Let me get the right back. All right, got my wrench up here. And I'm trying to situate this camera where I can, where you guys can see this. And you can see I got my speed wrench up on the bolt. And it's at a slight angle. And the only thing you have to do is just keep on loosening that clamp. The bolt on that, the nut on that, the, well the bolt on that clamp, is really long so it's almost kind of difficult to get anything get a socket up there so you can see that good all right so what I'm gonna do here now is loosen that up all the way so I can get that clamp off of there all right Be right back all right guys you see I got that clamp really loose once you get that loose by the wrench you can pretty much turn that by hand now the clamp is still tight up there which sucks so what I'm going to do, I got me a, a pry bar here, and let's see if I can get you to sit down here again. Alright, All right. what I'm going to do here is get my pry bar, and I'm going to pry up against the shaft right here, and I am just going to... Bend that clamp out of the way. Open that clamp up. I said just like it was gonna be easy. It ain't easy. <laughs> okay. Shoot that other side over there. Get this squeak. Do this until we can get that clamp unhooked. Which, of course, is giving me a little bit difficult time. You're gonna give me a hard time on it. Break this. You know, and then your light starts messing up. Look at this. Like it's flashing some disco. What the heck? Okay, guys. I hope you can see this, guys. I'm going to find out the other part. You know, these little lights right here, these things don't work. All right, I gotta, looks like I gotta open that clamp up some more. 
So, let me get that open, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, where we at? Come on, light. I just took that nut completely off. Hopefully you can see that. That thing was just bothering the mess out of me. And I mean, the clamp feels like it's... You know what? Let me get both my hands up here for this thing. Falls down on me. You know, I did like these clamps at first. <laughs> but now, it's starting to suck. Chrysler. There you go, guys. There it is. Got my. Dang it. Really? I gotta. Forgot the other O2. Dang it. I gotta go up there and disconnect that O2. What's that thing at? Where's that connector at? Connect it up under the engine. Could you leave this mess? Let me get a light, and I'm gonna go over here. Where's our light at? Yeah, doing the disco move again. Our O2 is right up under that mount. So I gotta reach my left hand in there, and you can't even see it. And I can't even see it. I'm gonna do it by feel, and get that unplugged. Put it back. All right, guys, that thing sucks. This light sucks. That unplugging that thing sucked. <laughs> so let's uh, cut out of here. Same type of connector. As you can see, I just reached up there, <sighs> squeezed that with my thumb, and it's they easily unplugged, but plug that back up one suck. Alright. Oh <clears throat> man. One down. One to go. Let's go to the other side and get that one unhooked. Right back. All right, guys, here we go. We're on the right side now. Let's help get this done. Man, I gotta get the stuff under here. We got the, we got that clamp way up there, man. There gotta be a socket deep enough to. I can get, if I can get a socket way deep enough, man, I can get that thing off of there. There's a suck. How am I? Let me see. That's it. You figure that's a ten millimeter. Get my 10 millimeter socket up there. But first, let's get these bolts off right here. All right, what I'm gonna do is take my half inch socket and I'm gonna reach it up here and I'm gonna put it onto this top bolt up here. Let me see if I can set you down. Yeah, there's my thing doing the, the disco thing again. All right, what we're gonna do, let's see if I can get my Sock it up there. Okay, get that in place. Then get my ratchet up there. All right. Let's get my 14 millimeter. Hey, that one's kind of like different here. Can I get in there? No, of course not. So I'm gonna have to get my 14 millimeter short half inch drive. Let's try that shallow. Oh, better yet, I can get the bottom one right now. So let's get this bottom one off. Now you can take this back off of here. Man, I got this thing up there. Up there. Nice and oh, it's perfect. There. All right, let's get this off. Okay, this one 
All right, let me get my 14 millimeter shallow with my wobble socket, and I'm gonna get that top one off. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, back to our project here. This cam, this thing got dirty again. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, we got our clamp way up there. Hmm, that's gonna suck. Wait a minute, if I can see that right through there. What if I take, if I can get my 10 millimeter socket on there and come out with a some kind of swivel or something, I might be able to get that. All right, let me grab my, I got my 10 millimeter. And I'm reaching right between here. that socket on there I might be in I think I got that socket on where's the, where's the flashlight look at that guys I got it on it looks like it's barely on can I push that on more cool it did and I felt a little room in here now where's my long ratchet? I'm gonna, I mean my extension. I am gonna use my long two foot three H drive extension. I can see it right there. I'm coming through the exhaust, the wide pipe and the transmission. Coming all the way up. Oh yeah, heck yeah. I got that. All right, let me get my ratchet off. And we're gonna, Loosen this up. Be right back. All right. Let's see if I can position you so you can see this. Hello. Can you see it? I have no idea. But anyway, you better see it. Get so one shot at this. Let's get our extension up there. You know what? Because your brown gloves take these gloves off. All right, I'm going to put my extension through there. Oh, it's, 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 it's probably touching the stud, but it's in there. Let me see what, what's the ratchet. Let me see if I can loosen this up now. All right, let's see if I can see this in there. And here's my ratchet. Take that thing completely off. Be right back. All right. All right. I got the bolt almost toward the end. One side of the clamp is loose. Let me get my pry bar in here. There we go. Get the clamp loosened up. Awesome. Let's still gotta get that O2 over there. Man, they, they didn't make this thing easy at all. <laughs> all right, let's get our pry bar up there, loosen up that clamp more, and get that clamp off there. Be right back. All right, guys, got the got it off. You can look up there, and you can see there's my clip. I gotta reach up there and unplug. So, let's see if I can reach up here. Find the clip to unplug it. It's not a big come on, dang it. Okay. Man, this has got to suck. There we go. Got it. There's a the plug. All right. Get this out of there. We'll be get that clamp. We'll be right back. All right, guys. It looks like we just got ourselves an emergency phone call. Somebody's stuck traveling, going to Florida from New York. So they called us, so we got to hit the road. Dang it, because I wanted to get everything done underneath. So the next time we come back, we just got to worry about the top half. Ah, oh, man. The metallic converters suck. <laughs> 
All right, so this is part three of the 2003 Jeep Liberty Sport 3.7 partial engine rebuild. We have no idea what we're going to come across when we take this engine out. If you have any kind of questions or comments, please leave them below. Or you can email me to tim at astralautorepairs.com. Guys and girls, this is Timmy from Astral Auto Repairs. <laughs> if we can't repair it, nobody can. Take it easy.